studio diary is going to be more of like a more realistic documentary of my descent into madness. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to record today because uh, got some friends around next door doing some work. To put up with this shit. Yeah, it's going well, sounding good. Get on my tits now. What the fuck is that? Another day in the studio, mate. Emergency. Evacuate now. Emergency. Evacuate now. So it's, uh early in the morning and I couldn't sleep last night <clears throat> so I'm just going to get back to recording and all I can think of is the fucking music in my head so I always get like this when I'm recording and I just can't sleep broken out the uh, the big dog today packed with a powerful punch so I have this one sachet just waiting for me in the cupboard today's the day bad gum that's good lad Another day at the office. Gotta love him, baby. What the hell is going on? I'm gonna guess that's not how I recorded that part. Check out this ridiculous ground loop thing we've got going on in this apartment. With this cable out, there's like an odd number of cables, which, or an even number, I'm not sure, it creates a ground loop. So now when I hit control, I get this fucking weird electrical noise. Unbelievable. And then if I plug this back in, it kind of like equals out the ground loop. Nothing. Right. I'm literally going to sit like this because it is actually comfortable. But this is serious, but like, the camera has to be on because I've filmed jack shit for this studio diary so far. I don't know how I'm going to get the album finished in time. Anyway, I can't face quad tracking those f***ing riffs. So I'm doing lead guitar first, then I'm going to do the ice. I'm looking like I'm just going to lose a whole bunch of money, which is fine because it's, it's a passion project. The music is printed to the CDs. The CDs get delivered to us. You look like you're worried about finding room to hoard 50 f***ing CDs. <laughs> And there's no good having 50 CDs sat in my mum's attic. Like all the Moors albums. <laughs> Frankly, if I sell 10, then it'll be a success. I got a man working on the artwork. He's doing it, he's doing it. We then spend time bundling all the shit up. The album, t-shirt, pick, all that stuff. Yeah. Bam, pre-order and everyone starts okay, buying it. And just... then you release it and you get another band. It's like a two okay. band thing. I want the physical product in my hand. The CD people fuck up. And you've got people all over the world waiting for this album to come out. They just might. It might look shit. I would like to have the product that I'm happy with. I want to go, that is the product I want to give people because I don't want to let anyone down. I don't know. I, yeah, we have to do pre-order before. Put it down. This is why you have a record label. I guess, so you don't have to do this shit. Another morning of fun. That's the percussion sword. That's the timpani sword. They used to have some good drum samples on the album, eh? And when we moved in, we had the most unbelievable view. The most amazing sunsets. 
Not much of a balcony anymore. Pretty miserable to be honest. Perfect setting. Can I paint on this? Uh, yeah. We're just painting on the uh, setting for the eye guitar level. It's like watching uh... chimpanzee. <laughs> I was gonna say Matisse. Yeah, in here there's a hole, so I can't. Well, maybe actually... don't paint the hole. Is, is that good? Have you done a good job there? No. It's not your finest work, but it's. It really isn't. That'll do. So yeah, I've been uh, recording for a while now and uh, just noticed the little matey up here, the little spidey. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I thought I fuck off ever. Kind of shitting myself a little bit. <sighs> yeah, no, it's not. The bowl's no good. Give me something square. It's probably going to look tiny on the video because of this fucking lens. The GoPro has like a fisheye lens. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Shake him. Shake him. So that he falls in. Yeah. And then lid him. Lid him. And then we can. And then toss him. Yeah. I fucking hate spiders. His name's Jeff. He's not welcome. Jeff? Mm -hmm. What? I'm just saying, don't put it right underneath the fucking thing. No, now I'm gonna no, land on my no, head. You've gotta pull it a couple of meters no. back. I'm the biggest fucking arachnophobe there is. This is ridiculous. Why am I doing it? I'm just gonna go up to survey. They can jump, though, can't they, these ones? Why don't you get the can of spray? Ready. Oh. I hate to say it, we might need the fucking spray. Put that in your pocket, just yeah. in case shit hits the fan, okay? Fuck and also, like animal cruelty thing, we're gonna try and get this motherfucker off the balcony. We're not gonna try and kill it. Um, but, you know, if we need to kill it, because obviously it's us or it. We're in fucking Australia right now. The way to the wall. Wham. That way? Shake it. Yes. When he falls in, I would probably I, I get slip that part. It, yeah. And secure, secure, and then toss the toss toss the motherfucker, and we're good. All right, you got this. I got this. Practice against the corner. No practicing. He's gonna fucking see what okay. we're practicing well, practice and learn the moves. This. I think you go a bit closer. Oh really? <laughs> Is there not a more secure chair than this? No. Okay, Jeff. Time to move out. I, I don't think I can do this. I don't know if I can do it. Well, how's that gonna look? It's gotta be a better container. 
What about the glass? You know, there's a longer shaft, there's a bigger drop zone. No, because there's a circle. We're working with a square. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We got him. We got him. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. What was the next step? Slide. Slide. Okay. Oh, fuck. When I look at it, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm shaking. I hate this so much. Slide. Secure. Secure isn't happening. Oh, shit. Oh, that's actually disgusting. There you go. Should I get back to recording now? I don't think I'm going to be able to play, or maybe I'll be able to play like 50 times faster because I'm so shaky. There he goes. Be free, Jeff. The sweet taste of freedom. Think of that one. Dude, your solo stuff, please tell us something about what you're working on. It's a concept album. I think it's 11 tracks. It's instrumental for the most part. There may or may not be some vocal appearances on there. Orchestral, progressive, fairy tale inspired metal with a bit of melodic death metal. There's a lot of Morse Principium mess kind of style stuff in there, but um, it was just cool to go free reign and just throw every instrument I can in there. Hundreds of layers of stuff going on. It is like going into a dream world and just doing whatever the hell you want. I'm one of those people who has that synesthesia thing where you see colors when you listen to music. Are you serious? To like a different degree where I see shapes and, and, and textures. So like if I hear a kick sample, kick drum, I'll tweak it to sound like what I want it to look like. And it's like a heart on the outside and then you bite in and it's kind of soft because right. they've got all the enzymes in there to make it real. I can see it, I can feel it, like I can taste the music. Siphoning off some of the madness going on inside my hair. There's a song on there that I wrote when I was 18. I'm so proud of it. Thank you so much again, man. Thanks a lot. Oh, awesome. All right then, I've got my good friend Christina Marie to record some choral stuff with her sweet, angelic, dulcet tones. Here they come, those beautiful choirs. And I've just mixed that in with some synthetic choirs on top, blend it together. We've got the women ums. Mm, that's nice. And then we've got women ahs. Lovely. And full R's with some blokes around the bottom there, just chipping in with uh, some, some low-end stuff. And it's coming together nicely. And yes, 
you may have guessed it there are some vocals on this album i don't really want to play you all the lead vocals i'll give you a little snippet but um my god she has killed it here Cool. And uh, yeah, mixing that with all the choir and everything. And a few silly glockenspiels and all sorts of things. There's even a harp, I think, in there somewhere. There you go. Yeah, yeah, we got busy with the harp. Tina's in the house, people. Tina's back with the cello. Sensual stuff, as always, from Tina there. And uh, yeah, all together. I'm probably going to mute those main vocals, actually. Just play it out. And then she's got this layer. Look how many layers of vocals I've got at the end here. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. I think it's about 18 tracks of vocals. Well, I could have just looked at the number 18 there, but yeah. I'm just going to give you the ending here, because I got her to just say the word dreams and just whisper it, and it just sounds magical. That's epic. Come along really nicely, guys. Uh, it's been about a month. I don't think I've left the house in about a month. Ah! <laughs> oh, <f> me. <laughs> Let's try to hit this in one take, huh? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Lewis.